Greetings YouTube, Big Silver Bear here, coming back to you with another video showcasing today some of my uh, latest finds from my local coin shop. And you'll want to hang out for this exciting episode of Big Silver Bear because I do have a few uh, unique and old and unusual things to show off today. Especially uh, if you're a fan of old Winchester rifle goodies. So uh, stay tuned for another exciting episode of Big Silver Bear, commercial free, coming at you today. To start off the show... <clears throat> We have a, uh, a 2014 90% silver uh, Washington Quarter. This is the Great Sand Dunes. I'm going to try to get this in nice and clear for you. Kind of hard with my high-tech camera here. Uh, phone, I mean. Yeah. For uh, 13 times face, I couldn't really say no. The other three quarters that you see here, they're just regular standard. Uh, pretty much BU condition 64 uh, silver quarters and uh, on the upper left part of your screen here this is um, a prairie schooner covered wagon being pulled by an oxen and uh, I like Old West Wild West stuff and covered wagons and things like that just as well almost as much as I like wildlife and this is from the Patrick Mint in San Francisco. Uh, one ounce fine silver bar. Kind of a, an interesting, old, unique piece. And next we have a Coors Light Silver Bullet. Um, a very neat, older, what they consider an art bar. That's uh, one troy ounce, 999 fine silver. Um, I'm going to guess that this is probably from the mid to late 80s. Uh, that's kind of when uh, Coors Light had its little silver bullet, you know, campaign slogan advertisement thing. So uh, I was very pleased to get all these one ounce pieces that you see for uh, only a dollar over spot. And this was most certainly a steal for only a dollar over spot. And the next thing that I have here, I, uh, I should have put it in a capsule before I started filming. Um, this is a 2018 St. Vincent and Grenadines seaplane and uh, a very very cool and unique piece. I like the detail in it how as the, the plane is getting ready to land you can see the uh, ripples in the water. Very unique and interesting piece and a lot of cool detail to it. Um, I really like it quite a bit. And. Uh, Okay, next we have a Johnson Matthey 5 grain, 5 grain, 5 gram uh, silver bar, and it's got little serial numbers on it. I can't really read what they are, but uh, anytime I can find some really cool fractional stuff, I always pick it up. So, and it's got a little bit of toning to it, nothing real over the top. But uh, I like this old Johnson Mathy stuff. And if you've seen any of my uh, previous YouTube videos, I have some very cool, one-of-a-kind, uh, still to this day have not seen anywhere on the web, uh, Johnson Mathy uh, half-ounce dodecagon. Okay, uh, enough about that. On to the next thing that I got. Even though it's really kind of beat up, I do have a, an 1887S seated dime and uh, once again it was 13 times face and this is about as good as it's gonna look with the kind of lighting and everything I got um, not really worth a whole lot of money uh, five six seven bucks maybe not really a whole lot considering the condition that it's in but it's really hard to pass up a seated dime for 13 times face so I paid a dollar thirty for this and you can probably see that there's a few rim nicks in it and it's a little dirty and a little funky but nonetheless I can't say no to it and it's one for the collection alright last but not least this is what's known as the uh, it's a little bit more than a half an ounce uh, Winchester Henry rifle it does have uh, serial numbers on the side, which is is uh, a little hard to read, and it's also stamped on the side that it's uh, 999 fine silver. So I'm going to bring it in a little close to you for everybody that likes the uh, more rare and harder to find individualistic pieces. 
and I can't really find any information on the web about it. Um, so I do, I would, I would gather to think that uh, it's going to be a very hard piece to come across. On the back it says, the new 16 shot lightweight A4 Henry repeater was introduced in 1862. Its firepower and performance produced instant success and led to the Winchester dynasty. And you can see at the very top of the piece, it uh, has the Liberty Bell. I, I can see it with, uh, with my uh, magnifier that it's got the cracked Liberty Bell. And uh, an eagle down in here with uh, some, looks like it could possibly be some arrows. And maybe perhaps some type of shield. Uh, it's got very, very fine detail. It's roughly about the size of a half dollar. And um, I just couldn't say no to the, un the uniqueness and individuality. Uh, right across the top, it says the Henry rifle. It shows a Henry rifle uh, going from left and aiming right on the round with uh, an old prospector of some sort, an old Wild West guy holding a Henry rifle and standing next to a bison. So how cool is that? That's just not something that you're going to see and find every day. And most certainly uh, something worthwhile sharing with my uh, YouTube audience. So with that being said, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show. I have nothing more to share with you today. Uh, I bought everything that you see here for roughly $79 in small change. Uh, I think that uh, the, the people that rung me up today... Uh, threw me a couple of bones and and gave me uh, some free stuff and which isn't uncommon I've been going to them for like 30 years so uh, usually they they uh, they just ring up the big stuff and I probably got even this stuff for free uh, but everything else I'm pretty sure that they rung up at any rate um, that's all I got so I don't need to hem and haw have a most wonderful and blessed day be sure to check out my other videos and comment like and subscribe Big Silver Bear out.